Uh, here it is, Ryan Juanita with Jermaine Clement. Jermaine, so awesome to have you here. I'm, I'm honestly a very huge fan, so thank you for coming on the show. So I want to start. Your latest movie, uh, An Evening with Beverly Luff Lynn, is one of the most unique and interesting movies I've seen in years. Um, looked like a pretty fun film to make. Did that, did that translate on set? Uh, yeah, and we were in a, you know, uh, we were in a small town, Eureka, North California. So um, it's quite fun to, you know, going somewhere to do a project like that where you can just concentrate on on the job and, um, and not have the distractions of your know, normal life. Right, totally. Um, yeah, it was a pretty interesting little hotel as well. It was a, co it was a cool setting. Yeah, that's a real hotel. Yeah, it, it, it looked it like very, fun. The only time I saw it full was when we had a, we had extras in there. Otherwise, there are hardly any people staying in that giant hotel. Oh, wow. That's, that's crazy. Um, so I wanted to transition a bit. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about New Zealand. Um, it seems like New Zealand entertainers are really like having a moment right now. Mm -hmm. um, Flight of the Concords was sort of the breakout, it seems like, for, for New Zealand. Um, and then followed by your guys' solo career. And then Taiki Watiti um, is you know, now a huge name in directing. So do you guys feel like sort of ambassadors for your country now at this point? Uh, I think for a while I, I did feel like that, but uh, now, I, now I don't feel that pressure. Yeah, just kind of doing your thing. Just happen to be from New Zealand. Yeah. Right, right. Um, do you, who do you think will be the next person from New Zealand to make it? Do you have any, do you have any friends coming up or anything? Um, well, David Farrier, um, the Dark Tourist Show, is really interesting and that nice. it's doing really well. Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, I'm not sure if any that you haven't seen before, but yeah, I think there's other people who who could um, bring bring stuff out of New Zealand. Nice. I, I can't I can't name any names. So yeah. I, um, I'm not sure. There's a lot. There's a lot of people doing comedy and and film in New Zealand. Absolutely. So, Concords, uh, Flight of the Concords, your band recently got back together for a tour with new music. Um, are there any plans right now for another season with HBO, do you know? No, we uh, aren't planning any more seasons. Have, have they asked for one by chance? <laughs> uh, no, we haven't really talked to them about that. We just did the special for them. Gotcha. And, um, you know, and then we, every time we do one thing, then we, you know, let it rest for a while and we're in that dormant stage now. Gotcha. Nice. So we talked to Reese Darby a while like back. Like a volcano. Oh, like a volcano, just yeah. kind of waiting to explode again. Yeah, it might blow again, it might not. I don't know. <laughs> nice. Well, we're we're in Portland, in the land of volcanoes, so I get that reference uh, more than most, I would say. <laughs> um, so we talked yeah. to Reese Darby a while back, um, and, and we talked about the Weird Wolves project when it was in its early stages, which is that mm -hmm. sequel to what we do in the shadows. Um, any any idea what's going on with that project? Uh, we haven't done anything on that project because uh, we, Chuck and I have mostly been working separately and I'm in Toronto right now filming the American adaption of what we do in the shadows, the TV show. Right. Yeah, that was actually going to be my so next I've, question. I've been working, yeah, I've been working on that and um, I did another show in New Zealand which is also related to what we do in the shadows. We had no idea that we were going to end up doing to, uh, you know, uh, spin offs from that film. We thought we would do one sequel and then we've ended up doing two other things that uh, kind of took us by surprise, but have been really fun. I mean, that's one of my favorite mockumentaries. I think it's the best one since Spinal Tap. I, are you guys still planning a sequel? Thanks. Absolutely. Uh, we haven't been put, no, we haven't really been planning anything. I, um, I've been working on, so Tucker and I made a pilot at the start of the year for the, the American version, which is really, which I'm really happy with. I, I wrote it and Tucker directed it. Nice. Now I'm directing a few, a few episodes of this and then I can come. We, we haven't been, um, you know, we've, we've kind of been working separately on the same thing. That's awesome. Well, so, so uh, you so are... We have, we, we, yeah, we haven't, had, we haven't had time to uh, also do any planning on that film idea. Gotcha. 
But you are going to be in the uh, TV show as well? It's possible. Uh, it's possible. Okay. I'm not telling. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, we, I'll be but watching it TV, one way or another. The, the, TV show, the TV show is not about our characters. Right. It's about different, different characters that live in America. I got you. Okay. Well, that worked out for The Office, so it seems like that's a good idea. Um, well, the office, kind of, the office is kind of the same characters with different names. <laughs> that's, that's true, I guess. Um, that's a good point. <laughs> I think we put it in a little bit more thought than The Office did. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good then. <laughs> it's like, oh, what should Tim be called? Oh, Jim. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like, both, I like both those shows, though. I did have a question, though, about... Uh, Legion, I know your your character yeah, Oliver. There are going to be some there are going to be some teasers on. Uh, I think it could be tomorrow night even. On oh, really? Really? Uh, for the new show. That's amazing. I okay. Think so for Halloween. Awesome. Is it Halloween tomorrow? Uh, yeah, yeah. We yeah. Didn't celebrate Halloween, so I don't even know when it is. So that's for Legion. Or for what we do in the shadows. Uh, no, for um for the what we do in the shadows USA. Gotcha. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I was just going to ask real quick. Um, so your your character Oliver got a huge, uh, you know, got a big bump in in Legion second season. So I have two questions. One, uh, was this always planned, or was it your Ice Cube scene, you know, Ice Cube uh, episode that nailed it? Um, and also, two, do you know which turntable they used in that movie? I thought maybe you would, since you're a musician, or in that, that a TV show. Turn I, table, isn't I didn't I didn't um, read what the model was. No. Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't know if it was always planned. I was. Um, I actually didn't know what Legion was when I when I signed up to it. I just knew I liked Noah Hawley's work. Yeah, absolutely. From watching Fargo. Yeah, it's such a cool and, uh, character. It wasn't, that you even, it wasn't even called. Yeah, it wasn't called Legion when they sent it to me because they kind of protect the name and they keep it secret and they have a kind of code name. So. They give me the code name, so I didn't even know that it was a Marvel um, property or anything like that. It's super fun, uh, the character that you bring to the table, because you, you have to play sort of... It, it is fun, yeah. He, he's just, he I doesn't just quite know what's me. going on, and, and you get to kind of put your spin on it. Yeah, and it's always fun, um, that show, because they are always trying to surprise people. So you turn them uh, to work in some crazy visual image that they've created yeah. and you're wandering around in it. Yeah, the Ice Cube episode is, is one of the most memorable episodes I've seen on TV for a long time. It's just really cool. Okay. Yeah, um, so do you know uh, if you'll be in season three? Yeah, I'm curious to know. If you, if you find out, let me know. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to my people. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Okay, thanks. Uh, so getting back to uh, Beverly Loughlin, um, and that's two words, Loughlin. Uh, you're used to playing a lot Sorry. of extremely funny, oddball characters. Um, but in this one, every character is so strange. It feels like Colin is, he's, you're really funny. I think you're the funniest person in it. But, but he sort of comes off as like the only normal person. Uh, was, that, was that kind of a nice change of pace? <laughs> uh, yeah. I, um... You know, we, I didn't really think about that when we were doing it. Um, I was just trying to, you know, be, uh, be Colin. But, and in, most, in, in a normal movie, he wouldn't be the most normal person, just in that movie. Exactly. <laughs> in, in any other, you know, in any other film, he'd be the weirdest character. I know. I was, it, it's amazing. As each character comes through, it, they, they keep getting stranger, it seems like. And, and, and Colin sort of holds the glue together. He's just a guy, you know, trying to date Lulu. Um, <laughs> and then everybody else has all these weird agendas going on. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that was fun. Um, so, so you and Brett are probably my favorite novelty musicians. Uh, so I had to ask, who, who inspired you guys to, to start? Um, was there some Weird Al back there, some Tenacious D, or were you just kind of doing your thing? Uh, yeah, I definitely like those. But when we started, I hadn't seen Tenacious D, even though they'd been going for a while. But I remember seeing them after we'd started and thinking, oh, wow, wow. They're like, uh, they've got an album now. Right. <laughs> and a, and a sim similar kind of thing to what we do. I think um, thing Bill Bailey, he's a British comedian. Yeah, uh, we saw one of his shows, and that was a big uh, 
that, that was a big inspiration. If you look up um, Human Slaves of an Insect Nation by Bill Bailey, British comedian. Okay. It had a big impact. Nice. Um, so, but you hadn't seen Tenacious D before you went, before you did your thing? No, no. That's impressive. But uh, when I started, when, you know, when this stuff made, it, made its way to New Zealand, I could see a parallel. Right. Yeah, totally. Um, I think I think you guys are. I think you guys have them though. You haven't beat. Well, they're pretty amazing. I, they're. I've, I've um, been to their concerts a couple of times, and and their um, their singing and guitaring uh, is really impressive. <laughs> what you, guitaring. Would you guys ever word. think of uh, touring with them? Um, yeah, we um, we went and played their festival. Um, Supreme is it called Supreme? Supreme. <laughs> I think it's called in LA, um, and Weird Al was on there as well. Nice. So it was really fun. We didn't actually play together, but it was um, good to hang out with them. Yeah, that sounds awesome. So your uh, Bowie parody, Bowie's in Space, is one of my favorites. And you know, like most people, I'm a huge Bowie fan. So I was wondering um, what 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 inspired the song. Oh uh, yeah, that's an easy one. We were. Um, so that song, we were trying to uh, learn some David Bowie songs in our flat where we lived in New Zealand. And they were too complicated for us. They have a lot of changes and bridges and key changes. Right. So we, um, we kind of made our own version up. It had all those things. That's awesome. That we could remember. Uh, they're, they're really tricky. They're very, very tricky Bowie songs for, for pop songs. Right. It's very complicated. No, totally. Yeah, and they have like, them. like Starman has that yeah. weird change up right in the middle of it. That's, yeah, there's a lot of weird yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, all those, those quiet things are hard to get for beginning guitarists, which we, were, we kind of were when we wrote it. Wow, that's awesome. Um, yeah, that's, that's really fun to, to hear about the, the beginnings of that. So can you tell us uh, about any projects you're working on now? What's coming up for you? Um, it's all, it's all what we do in the shadows at the moment, the USA, USA version. But gotcha. I did make a show back in New Zealand called Wellington Paranormal, uh, right. which so far is only six episodes, but um, another season has been ordered. So I wrote and directed on that. That's awesome. And I, did a voice of a dog. In, in that show? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Of a possessed, a possessed dog. Awesome. I haven't seen that one yet. Is that available in the United States? Not legally. Because <laughs> I've seen trailers for it, and it looks really interesting. It's like uh, two cops, and they're, they're sort of Taika Waititi regulars uh, going out and looking for, for ghosts and ghouls and all kinds yeah. of stuff, right? Well, yeah. They only, they're in um, what we do in the shadows. They're not in any, which is um, Taika in my movie. Oh, okay. But, um, they're not in, oh, no, one of them is in Wilder People. Yeah, Wilder one People, yeah, exactly. Wilder People, yeah. So you, you guys are doing a lot of uh, supernatural. And, and the other one, the other cop is in, um, is in the Breaker Rapper, which I could produce. That's true. Oh, nice. Awesome. You, you guys really uh, lean into the supernatural these days, it seems like. I mean, pretty much everything you're doing right now is, has some kind of supernatural element. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's, uh, it's something I've always, uh, I've always been interested in and, and found fun. I, I didn't expect to be doing two supernatural comedy shows. Yeah, it's it's very uh, you've got a lot of hybrids going on, which I love. Um, you know what we do in the shadows is an obvious like hybrid of many many things. It seems like uh, that was there's a lot of hybrids out there, but that's sort of like un, uncharted territory is, is all these different comedic you know things going in with the supernatural. So it's cool. Yeah, I'm trying to try to put the supernatural and the natural together, or Trying to put naturalism and supernatural together, maybe. <laughs> nice. And comedy. Awesome. So, what else uh, do you do? You and Brett uh, still hang out? Do you guys still talk to each other, uh, like on the regular? Uh, yeah, we we see each other. But I've been in um, when we finished our tour. I've been uh, over in Canada most of the time. So I haven't I haven't seen really anyone. <laughs> right. <laughs> Is that, that's where you're, you're producing the I TV see, show? Uh, yeah, we're working, we're, we're filming. When you make, it, make something to do with vampires, you're just working all night. So sometimes we'll end it 
we'll finish at 2 a.m. Sometimes it's 6 a.m. Oh, yeah. You just got to finish before the sun comes up, yeah. And, yeah, and you don't see anyone else. Right. <laughs> well, it is Canada. It's a pretty open it's country. Yeah, I see my family. I see the car. Um, but when I get home in December, I'll, I'll probably see him. Nice. So is home in New York or L.A.? or? Uh, uh, Wellington, New Zealand. Oh, okay, gotcha. So you're still you're still based in Wellington. Yeah. Nice. So uh, Beverly Loughlin is coming out. Is is it out now, or it's out on VOD, or, or is it in theaters? Yeah, now. Okay, yeah. it's out now. Gotcha. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming on the sh the show today and uh, for talking with us. Um, really appreciate it. I'm I um, feel a feel a big shout out to my phone battery. Yeah. It still wasn't going to last. Oh, I did not expect it to last this long. It's amazing. No, I started and it was only on 10%. So, well done for that. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, well, thank you so much for being here, Jermaine. Really appreciate it. And good luck to your new projects. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to the new shows.